Hi, I'm Christina Miles and I'm here with Vine Juice. I got into the music industry when I was around, well, it was in 2005, no, 2005. <laughs> I graduated from Salford Uni. I did a degree in popular music and recording. It was an amazing course and I met some incredible people that I still work with. After I graduated from Salford, 2005, I went busking on the streets of Manchester and that opened a lot of doors. I went busking with my friend Ben Williams who plays guitar and we used to get quite a, a big crowd uh, around us, which was fantastic. And on one occasion, the Manchester Evening News saw the crowd, saw the re reaction we were getting and they tipped off BBC Radio 5 Live and we entered the competition which was Busk Idol uh, 2005 and we won it which was really really good <laughs> yeah um, and yeah that did open loads and loads of doors it wasn't an initial kind of you've got a record deal you know here's everything on a plate it it was um, kind of a journey from from that period until now and I've been in the music industry for 10 years and yeah it's had it's had some ups and downs but it's been amazing and um, I kind of wouldn't have wished to do anything else mm. <laughs> mm, am I original I'm not an original northern lass but I feel like uh, an adopted Northern Lass and I'm very grateful to, to be an adopted Northern Lass. I'm originally from Leicester, so I was born in Leicester and I lived there until I went to uni. And I've been up in Manchester ever since and absolutely love Manchester. I um, just love all the people, Everyone, everybody's so like, warm and friendly and there's an incredible music scene in Manchester. Everybody's really supportive of each other and I go to an amazing church, Audacious Church. And although I'm moving back to Leicester, oh no, touch the mic. <laughs> although I'm moving back to Leicester, I feel that I can just come back whenever and I'm, I'm always welcome there. And I have a, an extended family up here in Manchester, so I love being a Northern adopted lass. Yeah. <laughs> about being in the music industry is each day is different you never know who you're gonna meet at gigs and um, being able to connect with people uh, through songs that you've written that's amazing I remember uh, busking um, back 2005-2006 and I was singing one of my songs Sorrow which is from my, my first album and I remember a lady coming up and just being really touched by it and she put a five pound note in into the, um, the guitar case and she attached a note with it as well and saying that she just really felt like touched by it and that's amazing you know being able to to connect with people through through your music and through the gift that you've been given so for me that's one of the most amazing things about being in the music industry um, being able to perform with your friends uh, that's that's amazing it's it doesn't feel like a job at times um, at times when the money's not coming in <laughs> you kind of wish it was a proper job but um, no I, I um, I'm just really really grateful that I've had all these experiences um, there are some negative aspects, of course, and I think there are in, in every in every job. Um, being self-employed is, you know, can be tricky sometimes. Um, but having um, building up a contact kind of base um, um, and support network that that's amazing, and having that really kind of helps you through through the tough times. And and having having a faith definitely has helped me continue on the path with music and that there are times when I felt god is this what you want me to do um, especially through times of not being with a major label and and it all going wrong and um, I really feel that my faith and my relationship with God has has brought me through that and um, I feel like I'm on the right path My latest album is called Paint a Brighter Day and I felt really inspired to write an album and have a kind of a campaign around it to really encourage people to um, think about each day with a glass half full mentality. I think that's it's quite tricky at times and I really try each day to think of the positives uh, but you know it's really easy to, to 
to go the opposite way sometimes. So I really wanted to encourage people and I invited people throughout my 60 day Pledge Music campaign, which was to raise money to make the album because albums cost quite a bit of money to, to make. And um, I was just really blessed that so many people wanted to uh, join me on the journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, each day for those 60 days, I encourage people to um, post a picture up on social media that kind of depicted um, a way that you would live your life positively that day. Um, for instance, um, I took a picture of a glass and filled it halfway, put a post-it note on it and say, said, I am half full. You know, just like things like that that would kind of make you think about the, the positive aspect of the day. Um, and um, I really wanted to take that theme onto the whole album. So all the songs are, are um, biographical. Some are about the kind of difficult times of being um, a self-employed musician, but the, um, there are uh, three songs there in specific um, that I really wanted to um, uplift people and encourage people. So Heaven Knows is um, track three on the album and that kind of uh, encompasses the whole kind of um, um, theme, uh, reason behind the album and um, it is that sometimes life goes in a different way to which we planned. Um, sometimes uh, it throws a curveball at you and um, although we don't know which way the path is going, I really believe that, that heaven does, that God has a plan and purpose for everybody and I really wanted that to, to shine through the album and to have that sense of hope. So um, heaven knows and a change is going to come, which is another track that um, is full of hope for the future and also heavy on my soul. So those three tracks I really hope that would will really inspire people to, to keep going, especially if, if they're going through a tough time. And just to add as well, we are all in it together. You know, everybody has times um, that, um, you know, without fail, aren't, aren't perfect. And um, I think we can encourage each other and, and know that if we are going through a tough time, we're not the only person in the whole world, you know, that's going through that. And um, um, we need to help each other out. So far I've had amazing feedback from the album which is amazing because when you're in the studio and you're, you're recording you have no idea what people are going to think, you just, you're there, you're pouring your heart out and, and doing your best and so the feedback has been amazing. We actually entered in at number 16 in the official um, independent album chart so that <laughs> was amazing and just like no idea that that even existed. <laughs> So it was brilliant. Um, yeah, and uh, we had an amazing album tour in Manchester, Leicester and London and loads of people came and were really intentive. Intentive? That's the wrong word. Really? What's the word I'm trying to say? They were like listening. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so I was really, really grateful for an amazing audience. For the music video, I'm getting rid of this. Um, I have people that pledge to be in it. So I had to think of a concept around um, the, the, the song, um, what, what the song was about, and also to try and incorporate some like really fun parts that, that people could play in the video. So uh, I was thinking about it quite, quite a lot. I, I used to um, travel quite a lot from Leicester to Manchester, so that, that whole drive, I was just there thinking, what shall the video be? Um, and um, I met up with some amazing people that kind of um, helped to, to visualize that. So The song is all about getting rid of things that clutter your life and that can kind of hold you hostage almost, like anger and resentment, worry, all the things that sometimes keep you up at night that really should just, you know, get gone, that we should get rid of. And um, I wanted to kind of portray that in a video, so <clears throat> my husband <laughs> played the, uh, <laughs> the horrible boyfriend <laughs> and um, he kind of represented all of those things that, um, that, you know, that are horrible in our lives. Um, there was a really kind of, uh, kind of satisfying part in the video where I was uh, bursting balloons that had words that said, you know, negativity, worry, 
you know, all those things that, you know, we just want to get rid of. And I really hope that that kind of comes across in the video. And we had just so much fun filming it and the people that pledged to be in it just did amazingly. It was an absolutely incredible experience. Quite a long, uh, you know, hard, hardcore uh, filming experience. We started from uh, half past nine at night until noon the next day without stopping and everybody was just there just giving it their all and was really grateful that they yeah brought it so thanks to everyone that was involved <laughs> my favorite song it's really hard isn't it like trying to pick a song off the album because they're like all your babies and it's a bit wrong to pick your favorite baby um but they're not babies so i can pick one i would say autumn is probably my favorite one <laughs> um because i wrote it in a completely different way to how i'd normally write i came up with um, a riff on the piano and i really really liked it and when i was walking with my dog mr beefy um we uh yeah we <laughs> we love going on walks and um in autumn especially uh, by by our house there's just such a beautiful woodland walk and and the leaves are all beautifully brown and golden and red and and I just felt really inspired to write a song about that season and for me um, God's glory really shines through I mean it does in other seasons but particularly for autumn uh, for me so that that song really um, uh, means a lot I love that one yeah man it was amazing uh, that's kind of an understatement really to be um, yeah to be nominated for a MOBO uh, it kind of came out of nowhere and um, I was just really grateful like so grateful for it because at the time I'd kind of just parted company with my record label and I'd become independent and I thought is this the right path that I'm supposed to be on am I actually supposed to do music and there were definitely times when I thought maybe it's not what I'm supposed to do and then this MOBO nomination came and it was just like, oh, thank you. And it was kind of a sign to say, I think it was a sign to say, keep going, you're doing the right thing. Um, you know, you've been given this gift and I want you to use it, you know, and, and hopefully inspire, encourage people um, and for, you know, for God to shine through. That, that's kind of my main aim. And I, I really hope that that, that happens uh, in this album, especially. You can't do that to me! <laughs> Manchester. <laughs> Sorry, Leicester people. Fish and chips. Oh, Royal Blue. Independent label. <laughs> Artist as a Christian. People can connect with me on Facebook, on Twitter, I'm on Instagram as well. And if um, if people are on email, <laughs> old school email, then um, you can sign up to my mailing list at uh, christinamiles.com. So I'm, I'm always on social media. I love, love speaking to, to people and um, hearing what they have to say about the music. And um, yeah, so please do get in touch. <laughs>